and we back and we back welcome to heroes after dark where we discuss life love and right now we're not even discussing grails we've been discussing mega grails so daddy's issues all right i think that we're now getting into the part where there's gonna be some filler issues it's not quite the same filler as he said <laughs> as we saw with issues one through 20. so we'll start with the filler and absolutely nothing important is in this book in my opinion uh, I don't believe it's an expensive book. It is a Beatle appearance. A lot of people don't know that the Beatles showed up in a different book. Uh, so it's not even a first appearance. Not to be confused with the Beatles. Correct, not the Beatles. Just formerly the Silver Beatles. Correct. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 22. All right, so, um, you know, minor first appearance. I don't think this one is uh, hard to get in high grade. It seems pretty common uh, even to this day. So a lot of times if you see books at a comic book shop, low grade up on the wall, a lot of times this is kind of where they start. They don't start with the 21, even though it's really a filler. Usually this is sort of where, they, where you'll start to see the books show up in, in typically $100 raw kind of, kind of category. So again, it's not a filler, it's got a first appearance, but it's just not, not an important one. Yeah, Marvel was ahead of his time with this, this title, The Goblin and the Gangsters. <laughs> Marvel was on game even back then. They knew what it was. <laughs> so this is where we start to run into our run of, uh, where Green Goblin had really picked up popularity and you know the feedback gets back and, and they, you're gonna see a ton of Goblin covers in this run. So here's the, the third appearance of the Green Goblin. These do carry a pretty good premium and they have had a premium even back when I got them. They were far more expensive than a lot of the other books I got in the run that were had first appearances um, just because they were Goblin. Covers just like some people want covers of other popular people. Oh, I want the Doom covers. Goblin covers are very popular, more than the Doctor Octopus covers. Mm. At this point, Ramita now is full time on on ASF. No, Ramita does not kick in until issue thirty nine. Uh, so it still did go run twenty four. Put it back in. Oh, this is number twenty four. All right, twenty four. Another filler issue. It's a Mysterio appearance. Um, a lot of people don't like this issue. Second um, appearance in Mysterio at this point. Yes, I yeah, think second. it's not, it's, I think it's a third appearance of really? Mysterio, yeah. Um, it's kind of an interesting cover, uh, even though it's kind of a wonky one, it's just not very popular. I think of these, some of these are easier to obtain than others, this is gonna be one that's gonna be a little easier to obtain. This one. And this is, this is a undervalued key in my appearance, in, in, in my opinion. This is the uh, Mary Jane behind the fern. The between two ferns, this is the uh, <laughs> this is the Mary Jane issue. Uh, she's in the shadows, they don't show her, they talk about her. They trim the hedges. And then, <laughs> um, it kind of sets up the fact that he's gonna eventually go on a date with her. Um, and uh, in my opinion, it's a, it's a good book. Uh, it's pretty it's popular, it's got a spider slayer in it. Um, and this one does have a little bit of a premium, um, a little bit undervalued in my opinion. Yeah, that whole thing could get pretty hairy in that, that material book. <laughs> and this is also the first appearance of, yeah, the Spider Slayer, Spider, and Spencer Smite. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're coming up to the Crime Master yes. and Green Goblin. So now we've got our next appearance of Green Goblin. And um, again, these these, gob these first early go Goblin covers are all very popular. Expect to get, if you're gonna get into them, you're gonna be paying a little bit of a premium to get into them, even though not much happens in them, um, just because he's on the cover. Although Crime Master actually is kind of making a little bit of a comeback right now with the gang war storyline that's incredibly unpopular. Yeah, yeah it's not that great. <laughs> but he's still relevant, he's still around. Yeah. Um, Glad so to see that they're bringing, they're keeping some of the, Older villains, yeah. trying to reintroduce them, like Prowler. I think part of that might have been the success of Prowler. To uh, I'd in. be interested to know if people. I, I don't know if the current Crime Master is the same Nick uh, Lewis that was from this one, if, or if they changed. Jump in the comments if you know. I, I think it's the same one, but I I don't know if they've ever. Red Five would know. Secretly changed his his alias. Out. Yeah, ridiculous plug. Red Five mm -hmm. when he does the weekly, he probably knows. He's read the book. 27. And this is a, uh, yeah, another, this is another one of those beautiful, this is a beautiful dark colored Green Goblin issue. Uh, this one is probably more expensive than the Crime Master, even though they, this one had a first appearance just because this is a dark cover and hard to get in higher. It's a harder to get in higher grade. 
Again, you may still see these. These do show up occasionally at your comic book store, but typically very low grade. You're talking 2530, but not a terrible price. And you get a much winching in the high grades, especially this darker one, it gets a little pricey. This one, very rare to see high grade. And this one, this was a one I paid a pretty penny on eBay for. Uh, I got this one right around the same time that I got the, I wanna say this was my next purchase after the three. Oh, same wow. seller on eBay. Uh, every two weeks or so, we'd have a, just a massive auction of uh, keys. And so I knew it was coming around. And then I don't forget how long after, but maybe a month or so after, this was the next big purchase. So you didn't go to se sequential order with the books when you were, oh, when you were no. purchasing? It was opportunity. Seize the opportunity. If it's, if it's there and it's a grade I can trade or grade I want, I would get it. Because a lot of times, what, what a dealer told me is everything's in a box. So you've got people who just want in the box, just, they just want to own it. They don't care, it could be almost coverless, they don't care. Point then fives. You, those are your point fives, your no grades, stuff like that. Then you've got your tier one, which starts, let's say, around a 1820 and goes up to about a 3.5. Then you've got your guys who want the mid grade, presentable copies, you're talking 4045, all the way up to about a seven. Mm -hmm. And then you've got your, your 758085, and then you've got your 909. And some would even say nine, two, and higher, because that's truly where you get rid of the V. The very fine drops off, right? Yeah. And there are guys who don't want very fine in it. They want near min or better, which means and near and minus is fine, so nine, two or better. And so I graduated into that. I'm okay with a nine, oh, because it still says near min in it. I don't care about the very fine part, but th that there's a tier there. So a guy who's collecting eight O's is not going to is not going to be the same as the guy who wants nine, two, nine, fours. They're just different collectors. Just and so. Difference. You can go down one level in trade. You typically can't go from a 3.0 to a 9.0. Oh, it's a big jump. But you can go from an 8.0 to a 9.2 and pay that premium. And a lot of times they're willing to take that. Yeah, because I've seen that with Copper Age and Bronze Age, you can take an 8.0 or probably 9.0 and jump into a 9.4, 9.6. Right. So you can with some of the early Spider-Man keys. But you're not going to trade a 2.5 in this. No. Into this book and expect to get much value. Unless you got some serious bank. You got to have, yeah, you're, you're bringing the cash. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you got to yeah. bring in the and bag. And this, actually, I forget what this cost. I, I, I remember it was it was expensive, but it wasn't as much as I thought. I want to say the tier up, if you get into the 9.4 in this, it it's just, it, it goes insane. So astronomical. Yeah, oh yeah, 9.4, 9.6 in this book. I don't believe, I don't know if there's a 9.8 in this book. I can't remember. But I know the nine, once you jump from the 9.2 to 9.4, I had done the research at the time, I was like, I can't afford a 9.4. 9.2 is that size I go. Can't afford it, but three AFs. <laughs> well, for what I want. <laughs> All right, beautiful book. Doesn't really get the, the love it deserves. So this is a filler. It's, however, because I think that just people like that cover. Yeah, they have uh, water the water Split water. Uh, it's, it's an expensive book with nothing in it other than the second scorpion. Sounds like a so, modern book for the week. Yeah, <laughs> a so great period. cover, great cover, nothing happens. It's not a bad story actually, but it's, yeah, it's just a lot of fight. It's just a lot of, it's a fight book. Yeah. I so, think his aunt's in the hospital and Scorpion's coming looking for him. So cover fire, that's it. Yeah. Number 30. And I wanna say this is the first appearance of the black cat, right? The, or the cat. The cat. The cat. And I can't remember, the, it's the cat burglar, but it's not the burglar from later on. Um, I can't remember if he's related at all. They kind of tied some stuff in with uh, some of the other characters later on. I don't remember if he, he's related or not. But not an expensive book. Again, issue 30 seems to be the cutoff. When you go and you say, okay, early Spideys, I want to say 29 and earlier is really what you're, unless you go really early Spideys. 30 and up, it just seems to be that they're much more common. I see these all the time. That's interesting because I don't see 30. I've seen 29. 29 doesn't get the love like you said that it deserves. I've seen them in LCSs. Nobody even looks at them. 30, I think I've seen this book maybe once in in a few years. I mean, I can tell you our local comic book shop here, which is Coliseum of Comics, they've got the Princess Python and this. Really? Nothing in between. Yep. Raw. Raw. Low grade. Low grade. Um, like one five, probably a little better, like probably like a two five ish. But yeah, I mean, and now now we're getting to what I consider when they talk about super key, we're getting this is this one is an incredibly undervalued book. It's on my list of upgrades that I want to do. I don't have two most of these I'm happy with. 
this is one of the ones if I can get an upgrade in this book, I want to upgrade in this book. This is has all the main players, a lot of the people that are from the movies, all, all the people that are in current storylines. This is this is the book. Yeah, that's the set off the book. That's it. Is. <laughs> that kicks off so many different things with MCU, with spec, with investing for Spider Man. I mean, you could argue this is the first appearance of Spider Gwen. She's not the same Spider Gwen, but it is Gwen Stacy. That's true. Um, and then I believe you've got uh, Osborne and who else is there's there's a couple in here. There's uh, Gwen Stacy, Harry Osborne, and uh, the Jackal, Miles Osborne. So three first appearances. Two of them are more key than the other, um, but the other one leads into the Punisher, so important. The Jackal. And the Clone Saga, and some other stuff. So so important, and I think could be a great character if done very creepy in the movies. I think would kind of suit the character well, because he's kind of a creeper in the, in the story as well. Not to mention the cover is absolutely incredible. It's it's such a, to me, it's such a weird cover, because it, it kept eye-catching, but it's not like, beautiful it's just no. eye-catching no that and i think that's one of the things when you see those books on a wall it's one that you immediately arrest your attention it's like when you look at ff books one through ten you're like one immediately you know what it is the other ones eh, not so much well doom and doom yeah doom but that one this is the one for me in my opinion when you think of spider-man particularly in this tier where you immediately go i know that book so, yeah, so this is, I think, of this entire run from 21 to 30, and then 31, I think this is probably the biggest key coming up from 20. All right, so last question. So we saw three tiers. What was the hardest of the tiers to get? Was it the, the one through 10, um, 10 through 20, 20 through 30? I think Not price from the choir. I, well, I definitely think still the one through ten was the highest to get because I'd already, I, at some point I'd set the bar and I said I can't I can't necessarily afford to buy three copies on my way up. I want to do this in like two shots. I want to get the seven or the eight and then bump that if I get a good price on that into the higher grade. Um, occasionally eBay was having great auctions and I was getting some of these books at less than I thought I would. And I was using I two big shows for me was MegaCon and um, I would go to HeroCon. Tampa Bay Comic Con was in its infancy. That one had a run for a little while there where it was really good and I did pick up some books there. I couldn't tell you which books I picked up there because I don't go to that show as consistent, um, even though I do think it is a good show, but it's very hit or miss. Hmm. So there you have it. Lots of grails. The filler grails, <laughs> if there's such a thing as filler grails. Um, as you see, we're cooking with Daddy's Issues. He's got uh, quite a bit more to go through. So. Hit the subscribe button. Of course, you gotta like, you gotta share, because as you've seen, these are not just grails, mega grails, big boy keys. Um, I mean, we've seen some of these that cost more than people's cars, or at least my car. Um, <laughs> don't know about anybody else's. So hit the like button. Um, you gotta subscribe. There's gonna be more content. We're gonna be back again, as we said, in 2024. There is so much more to, to show, and we will do it. And, and I, we don't give too much anything, like investments or anything like that, but I would say that I believe in this book, and if, and if even in a 3.0, I wanna say it is still worth, I have a lot of these, even in low grade. Challenge Raw, accepted. Investment I, I shows? Just, Are we going to do an investment show? We could one day, but I think that this, this book will have long-term value. All right. If you guys want to see an investment show on this, this is going to be one that we'll, we're going to take a look at the data, and then we might buy one live. So Now now it's on a low. So this is... The, we'll definitely buy one live. <laughs> Heroes After Dark.